In this video, we'll show you how to get rid of fleas in no time. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of those fleas. Get rid of it! Identification First, look for signs of fleas on your pets. Observe your pets for excessive itching or scratching. If they're constantly biting or licking their fur, it's possible that fleas are the culprit. Check their skin for any redness or irritation, as fleas can cause discomfort and even lead to an allergic reaction in some pets. Another thing to look for is flea dirt, which is actually flea feces. It looks like little black or reddish-brown specks in your pet's fur. You can try the paper towel test to confirm if it's flea dirt. Simply take a damp white paper towel and gently rub it on the suspected area. If the specks dissolve into a reddish-brown color, that's a sign of flea dirt. Now, to further confirm the presence of fleas, use a flea comb. These combs have very fine teeth that can catch fleas and flea dirt as you comb through your pet's fur. Before you start, make sure your pet is relaxed and comfortable. Find a well-lit area to work in, so you can easily spot any fleas you catch. Begin by parting your pet's fur and running the comb close to their skin, from head to tail. Make sure to cover all areas, including their belly, legs, and tail. After each stroke, check the comb for fleas or flea dirt. If you find any, wipe the comb off onto a damp paper towel or cloth. Fleas are known for their jumping ability, so be prepared to act quickly to prevent them from escaping. If you discover fleas on your pet, it's time to take action and start the process of getting rid of them. Treat your pets. It's a great idea to consult with your veterinarian. They can recommend the most suitable flea treatment for your pet based on factors like age, weight, and overall health. They might suggest a variety of options, such as topical treatments, oral medications, or flea collars. It's essential to follow their advice and choose a product that's safe and effective for your specific pet. Let's talk about administering the flea treatment. If you're using a topical treatment, apply it directly onto your pet's skin, usually between the shoulder blades or at the base of their neck. Make sure to part the fur and get the medication right on the skin so it can be absorbed properly. Oral medications are pretty straightforward. Just follow the vet's instructions and give your pet the appropriate dose, usually mixed in with their food. If you opt for a flea collar, ensure it fits snugly around your pet's neck without being too tight. Remember to read the product instructions carefully and follow them to the letter. Next, give your pet a flea bath. Start by wetting their fur thoroughly with lukewarm water. Apply a good quality flea shampoo, lathering it up and working it into their fur. Pay special attention to areas where fleas like to hide, such as the neck, ears, and the base of the tail. Leave the shampoo on your pet for the recommended time, typically around 5 to 10 minutes, then rinse it off completely. Be careful not to get the shampoo in your pet's eyes, nose, or mouth. Make it a habit to regularly comb your pet with a flea comb. You can do this daily or a few times a week, depending on the severity of the infestation. Vacuum your home. Vacuuming plays a crucial role in eliminating fleas and their eggs from your living space. Vacuum all the areas of your home that your pet frequents, including carpets, rugs, and upholstered furniture. Don't forget about pet bedding, as it can be a hot spot for fleas. Move furniture around if needed. Make sure to use your vacuum's attachments, like the crevice tool and upholstery brush, to reach tight spaces and corners. Fleas can sneak into the smallest places, so it's essential to target these areas too. Using these attachments will help you cover all your bases and leave fewer hiding spots for fleas. Once you've finished vacuuming, it's crucial to dispose of the vacuum bag or empty the canister right away. You don't want any fleas escaping back into your home. If you have a vacuum bag, carefully remove it, seal it in a plastic bag, and throw it in an outdoor trash can. For bagless vacuums, take the canister outside and empty it into a trash bag, then seal the bag and toss it in the trash. Don't forget to wash the canister with soapy water to remove any remaining fleas or eggs. Wash all bedding and linens. Washing these items thoroughly will help you eliminate fleas and their eggs from your home. 
Gather all the washable items that your pet uses or has been in contact with. This may include pet beds, blankets, towels, or even your own bed linens if your pet sleeps with you. Don't forget about smaller items like plush toys or washable pet crate mats. Next, start the laundry. Use hot water and detergent to effectively kill fleas and their eggs. Make sure to check the care labels on each item to ensure they can be washed in hot water and adjust the settings on your washing machine accordingly. Hot water is typically around 130 degrees Fahrenheit, 54 degrees Celsius, but if the label says the item cannot be washed at that temperature, use the warmest setting allowed by the care instructions. Once the wash cycle is complete, transfer the items to the dryer. To effectively kill any remaining fleas, dry the items on the highest heat setting that's safe for the fabric. Check the care labels again for guidance and set the dryer accordingly. It's recommended to dry the items for at least 30 minutes, but if they're still damp afterward, continue drying until they're completely dry. Apply flea treatments to your home. You'll need to purchase a flea treatment product that's specifically formulated for indoor use. Flea sprays and powders are popular options because they're easy to apply and can target multiple surfaces. When selecting a product, make sure it's safe for use around pets and children. Once you have your product, it's time to treat the affected areas in your home. Focus on carpets, rugs, upholstery, and baseboards, as these are common hiding spots for fleas. Before you start, open windows and doors to ensure proper ventilation, and keep pets and family members away from the treated areas. For flea sprays, hold the canister at the recommended distance from the surface and apply an even layer, making sure to cover all areas where fleas might be lurking. If you're using flea powder, sprinkle it evenly across the surfaces and then use a brush or broom to work it into the fibers. Some treatments may require a specific waiting period before it's safe for pets and family members to return to the treated areas. It's important to allow the treatment to dry completely to ensure its effectiveness and avoid any potential risks to your pets or family. Treat your yard. This is an essential step to make sure fleas don't find their way back into your home. You'll need to purchase a product designed for outdoor flea control. Yard sprays and granules are popular choices because they're easy to apply and can cover a large area. Look for products that are safe for pets and plants. Make sure to read the labels and follow the manufacturer's guidelines. Next, identify the areas in your yard where fleas are most likely to hang out. Fleas love shady spots, so pay special attention to areas under bushes, trees, or decks. Furthermore, focus on places where your pets spend a lot of time, like their favorite lounging spots or play areas. After doing that, it's time to apply the flea treatment. If you're using a spray, connect the bottle to your garden hose and spray the targeted areas according to the product's instructions. Be sure to cover the entire area, reaching under bushes and other hiding spots. For granules, you can use a broadcast spreader to evenly distribute the product across your lawn. Again, make sure to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for application rates and coverage. Remember to adhere to the product instructions regarding reapplication. Some treatments might require multiple applications to effectively control fleas, while others may need to be reapplied after a certain period or following heavy rainfall. Monitor for reinfestation. Even after you've tackled a flea infestation, it's important to stay vigilant and monitor for any signs of reinfestation. Make it a routine to check your pets for fleas using a flea comb. You can do this a few times a week or even daily, depending on your preference. If you find any fleas or flea dirt, take action immediately to prevent the situation from getting worse. Be on the lookout for signs of fleas in your home. This may include itching or flea dirt on your pets, or even seeing fleas hopping around on your floors or furniture. Regularly inspect pet bedding, carpets, and upholstery for any evidence of fleas. Staying observant will help you catch a potential infestation early, making it easier to deal with. If you do find fleas, don't panic. Just repeat the necessary steps to eliminate the infestation. Prevent future infestations. Keep up with regular flea treatments for your pets. Consult your veterinarian and follow their recommendations for the best flea prevention methods. Maintain a clean home and vacuum regularly. 
Inspect your pets for fleas after they've spent time outdoors or visited other animals. Treat your yard periodically to discourage flea populations from returning. Depending on the flea control product you choose, you may need to reapply it every few weeks or months. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.